Investing, Risk, Return, and Liquidity by Bo and Nick. Step one, put and take account. The, this is the first stage of investing and it's creating a put and take account. This holds the money that you're going to need immediately and should hold between $600 and $1,200. $1,200 and it's low risk. Uh, after you've started, after you've established a good income, you should start investing in low-risk investments so you don't lose a lot of money. This is the third step in investing. Most people set aside money each month towards stocks, mutual funds, or annuities, and gains money over time, which is systematic investing. And this stocks, mutual funds, and annuities. Step four, strategic investing. Uh, you should have a plan, invest in other things, and you shouldn't have all of your money in one investment. Step five, speculative investing. This is the final step, and it's speculative investing. That, um, it is the highest risk and the highest reward, and that's penny stocks and collectibles. The three levels of risk are high, moderate, and low. First is low risk. It is a small chance of losing money, but small profit. Uh, lower cost, lower returns, and examples are savings and checking accounts, and those are 0.01% return. Uh, after low risk comes moderate risk. Uh, it costs a little bit more than low risk investment, but it has a higher percent of return. Uh, some examples of this are real estate and mutual bonds. Last one's high risk investments. It is the highest risk, risk but offers the highest reward and costs a lot more than moderate and low risk investments and examples are gold and art.